Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. Today we've got a busy day. We're off for a cars and coffee event. We've got to get the 930 re-registered. We need a new helmet because we're off on a drag racing event. More about that later. And we've got some parts to drop off for the tempo and get a bit of an update there. So stick around, this one's going to be a belter. So just before we head off for cars and coffee, we've got a few cars with us today. Uh, we've got Jim's Aston Martin GT. We've got an M3 uh, Carrera 4S, that's a 996 convertible. Suzette's here in her 911. Obviously we're in our 930 today because we've got to get that registered. And then Joseph's here with his Lotus. But we're just waiting for a few more to turn up before we head off. So we're here at Cars and Coffee. We have caught sight of this 911 SC. Oh, there it is. SC. Lovely colour. Look at that. I haven't seen this one around. Very, very nice. We'll spot also the RS over here that we've seen a couple of times before at a few cars and coffee events. But that is the first time I've seen that SC. It's lovely. So there's a few down here this morning. It looks like the Maserati Club have had a big turnout. And here we go, an Austin Mini. This one's in great condition. The interior is lovely. That like red wine interior. Yeah. Ah, Things sat there. A couple of McLarens have turned up. Uh, 600 LT. And just next door to us, we've got a 650S as well. Very nice interior. It's always nice with these exhausts on the McLaren. And then the 650 there. So we saw this bombing down the road, Ferrari 348, probably a 93. Spider. Oh, lovely interior, that cream and then the gated shifter. Yellow 360 as well. This looks in great condition, yellow interior as well. Yeah, that's in great nick. It's actually not a bad spot down here today with a car park. So the ocean is just over that way. We might go and have a look at that before we leave. It would be nice to get some photos against here at some point. But all down here in St Kilda, there's always great uh, photo opportunities as well. But nice morning out to start a busy day. There we go, coffee done for the morning. Time to head off and get our club rego signed for the 9.30. It's been a nice morning because we're down at the beach, but it is time to crack on with a few jobs. So we're here at Melbourne Old School Cruisers. We have our club rego signed, so we're good for another 90 days. So next stop on our day is Australian V-Dub. We're here now. So we do have a load of stuff for the tempo with us today. Uh, some rubbers which are not going to be useful for a long time, but we've got all the window winder mechanism and the door locks, so we're going to drop those off right now. Okay, we're back with the tempo. So here she is. Uh, the resto has been on hold for a little while, uh, mainly because of me, um, needing parts and it does burn a little bit of cash restoring the tempo, so uh, we need to watch the old pocket a few times. But we've got some important parts to do. So the doors are important to get done because um, getting the doors finished then helps us square up the rest of the body and then the cab is kind of done and then we can start to think about painting it. So important things that we've had turn up is that might not look a lot, but that is the window winder mechanism. Oops, pull that out. These things are like hen's teeth. So um, without these, it's hard to kind of match everything up with the door and make sure everything kind of fits properly. So that goes in. These little bars here with the paper on them, 
they'll rotate up and hold the glass in. So these are here now for both sides. I think they're a regular part that goes missing from a tempo for one reason or another, but we've got those now. The other thing that we've got is the locks for both sides. So the lock mechanism slides in here, goes in there, obviously for the lock, the door handle comes out there and we've got a door handle on the other side. Um, I'm not too sure if the holes line up exactly right for the door lock, um, but it does fit. So that means getting the door square will have the lock and the winder mechanism. We'll be able to finish the door, square up the door, square up the body, and then we'll be talking about what color we're gonna paint it. So it is a bit old dusty because it's been sat here for a little while. There's a collection of our stuff down there. Uh, new rubbers are in there as well, so we'll keep them sat there for a little while. The Speedo is with the um, repairer still, but she's coming along. So the guys are working in the back, so it is a little bit noisy, but they are flat out as usual. 23 window getting restored up there. I do like the colour combination on that bus. Um, looks like all the paint and bodywork's done, so it's just like an assembly. As easy as that sounds, still a shed load of work to do on that bus. We've got another 23 window here. Looks like it's probably just in for a service. Might as well dunk my head on that. But that's there. Lovely material. Look at the table in the side there. Like I said, sorry about the noise, but the shop is busy today as we've popped in. All right, so I hope the little quick tour of the Australian V-Dub came out well there. They are flat chat in there, so it was a little bit noisy, but I'm kind of hoping that turned out well. We are off to buy a racing helmet. So in all honesty, trying to record some of the video in the helmet shot was a little bit embarrassing. So we've got the helmets back at home, so we're gonna show you them here. So this is our 356 helmet, custom paint. And what you probably can see here is some cracks in the paint and it's kind of gone from each one of the holes and here as well it has. I think what happened was that it was in the back of the 356 and might have got a little bit hot and the paint has cracked there. Now what happens when you're out racing is that they should be checking that AG helmet so it's got to be less than 10 years old. Our helmet is about eight years old. Uh, plus with those cracks, they're gonna to want to inspect it. We could take the helmet away and get it rubbed back, inspected to see that it's okay and repainted, but because there's only two years left on the helmet, we thought it'd be a good idea to get a new one. Not worth risking your head in that helmet, I think. So time to get a new one. So here we go, new helmet, Bell GTS ST in white. Nothing too flash with the colours and we didn't go um, carbon fibre. But that is our new helmet. We were going to go with an open face one with like the microphone in front of it around here. Uh, but they're rally helmets and on the inside they have um, earmuffs on the inside which are not technically fire retardant. So um, sometimes you might get picked up at a race event that you've not uh, got a full fireproof helmet on. So we decided to go with a full face one just so that we didn't risk it. We're not gonna paint it for now. We might do that in the future, but I think from the experience we had with the last one, uh, we'll probably leave it as it is. But this is the helmet you will see us bombing around in very soon. Well, that's all from us today here at Outlaw Garage. Hope you enjoyed the video of us bombing around getting some jobs done. Please drop the video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you again with a new adventure, but this helmet won't do. See you later, guys. Bye.